What up everybody, Ray here. Welcome to my channel. So today I got a, a one-shot box. I kinda like these one-shotters, they're kinda cool. This one's from Nerdblock and Geek Sundry. It is for Tabletop Day, which is a day for tabletop gamers. I'm not really a tabletop gamer. Never got into it. Plus I don't have time for it. You gotta dedicate some time when you play those games, man. You're in there for hours. Excuse me. So, but I know that tabletoppers, you know, they when they click stuff, they get some really cool figures and items that they use in their games and stuff. So I figured I'd get that in this box. Plus, it's a one shot. Kind of cool. Why not try it out? Plus, it gives you guys an opportunity to see some cool stuff. So. That being said, let's roll into this one. That's by Nerd Block and Sun, Sundry Geek. Geek Sundry, sorry. Which is a, uh, if you go on their website, I'll put it down below, but they're really into setting up tabletop games and stuff and selling items with the gaming and items for gaming and stuff. So I never heard of them, but I'm sure a lot of people have. So let's start out with the shirt. This is from Shirt Punch. And it's to celebrate it, you know, play more games. At Tabletop Day 2016. Guess it started in 2012. So it's been going for four years. So that's kind of cool. It's a cool little thing. Decent shirt. Alright, then we get into you get a little notepad. No survivors. It's got a symbol on there. And it says Twitch TV Geek and Sundry. So they must have their own like little TV thing. It's basically a notepad clip on the back so you can keep track and it's got like a you know classic or rubber cover on it decent little notepad sure comes in handy for gaming so you can keep track uh, then we got this here is one of the things I was thinking about it's uh, Will Wheaton D6 tabletop day little die and then it's got 2016 on there and then it's just got one hole on all the sides but it's, you know, it's something for today, for Tabletop Day. For Will We. So that's kind of cool, a little collectible thing. Then they sent you this bag, a little velvet bag full of coins. I'm not sure if it's for a game, it's probably not. It's probably just their own custom things because the coins you use a lot. If you can get them out. They're kind of cool. So you got one for Barbarian. You got one for Bard, one for Warrior, I don't believe these are for a game, I think they're just ones I gave you from Geek and Sundry, uh, one for a Rogue, and one for a Wizard, I don't know if you can see those without the light shining on them, but, and then all the backs look like that, so, but they're metal coins, they're pretty cool, I like them. Each one's individually packaged. Let me pull one out here. Let me check it out. They're kind of neat though. I think they're kind of cool. That's the kind of thing I was looking for with these. This box was, you know, the neat stuff that you get with these games. Yeah, I may not play them, but I like the the cool coins and the figures and everything that they have. So yeah, it's just a heavy little metal coin. Like this one's a wizard. See, so it's spinning around the back without dropping it here. So, and all the backs look like that. So it's kind of cool. They're kind of neat. And then they come in a little pouch. The Geek and Sundry on it. And they're actually made by Penny Royal Studios, which has made a bunch of, like, um, keychains, specialized keychains for Nerd Block that you've seen before, like Thor's Hammer and the Ray Guns and stuff like that. So, that is cool. Then we got, save him for last. A uh, deck of playing cards from Tabletop Day. These are all Tabletop Day's promotional items. I haven't opened these yet. I wonder if I should. Just to see if there's anything special about them or if they just have Tabletop Day on them. But like I say, these are the cool things you can get from this stuff like this. Or at least I think it's cool. I like, like those cards or those coins and stuff. And the Wheel Wheaton die. 
Ooh, we If you watch Big Bang, you'll understand that. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh. Yeah, they're just regular cards, and they just have Geek and Sundry on the back of them. So, nothing too special, but they are for tabletop day, so they probably pass these out when you're at the, the tabletop games and stuff. So, that's pretty cool. Then we got, this one is, this is one of the things I was thinking of. Pretty cool. This is Magic the Gathering. This one is, who is this? Angie Goldmain from the Legacy Collection, Series 1. So this is what I was thinking of too. Like you get these cool things. These are pretty awesome. I'm glad I got this one at all. He's pretty awesome. Big Tiger Main. Then you got Geek and Sundry, because this is Geek and Sundry box, you know. They're the ones pushing this. Um, bumper sticker and a couple pencils. Embrace your weird Felicia Day. I think she put out a book out that says that. Not sure. Don't know where that was. And lastly, they sent you a Dungeons and Dragons Shadow of the Vampire comic. It's got Geek and Sundry, so it's a variant cover, I'm assuming. So that's pretty cool. It's open, Daniel. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. All in all, it's a pretty cool haul, I think. You know, custom stuff. It's a custom box for it. You probably won't get this stuff unless you went to it. And yeah, everybody got everything except for the figure. It could be any one of all four of those figures that they had at the time. Otherwise, everybody got everything else I showed. Oops. So that's pretty cool. So let's price this bad boy out and see if it was worth it. So we have got to do this. Put that there. All right. So shirt as always good bad ugly uh you can go to geek and sundry or you can go to shirt punch and they're always selling stuff for 25 bucks 20 dollars these shirts but like i've always said 12 bucks is a pretty even fair price for shirts because some of you'll be get that are good most of them will be pretty bad so you give them 12 bucks it's a fair run so that's why i do it 12 bucks on that then we got the die now this is kind of a an up to you type thing what you think if will wheaton's die is worth it or if this custom die is worth it but more than likely if you bought these you're probably like three to five bucks because they're tabletop day marked and will wheaton honor so that's where that price comes from the cards again that's probably like most cards and it's got the tabletop day on it. it's geek and sundry they'll probably charge you much more expensive if you bought them but I'd say probably about five bucks for that. Or actually, no, what was I thinking? Nine bucks. Sorry. Nine bucks is probably what they're charging for those. Because most theme cards are running around nine dollars. You can get them cheaper, for sure. But that's what I see theme cards running for. So then we got this notepad. As it's custom made. That's four or five dollars. That's what I was thinking of. Um... What was I looking at there? Oh, coins. Okay, so these coins. Now again, this is going to be basically these coins are going to be whatever you think they're worth. But a lot of these fantasy coins, and because it's all custom ones and stuff, I mean, comparable, they're probably around ten bucks be 15 but again it's up to you and what you determine to be because they're collectible more than anything um you might be able to put them in your games too if you if they come in that way so but all this together it's probably about 10 bucks they're probably running for uh some of these prices are just basically based upon what i looked at a bunch of different ones that were comparable and kind of averaged them out um so like this one and a die and the, the card and stuff, that's kind of just comparable to what you get. But of course, it's all what somebody's willing to pay you for it, more than anything. So 10 15 for that. Um, this figure, these are originally selling for about 25 bucks. But of course, these things are ranged anywhere from $8 to $25. So I even saw a couple of them for 100 I don't know why. 
didn't say they were signed or nothing. They just said like a hundred bucks. I was like, okay, whatever. So, but they originally sold for $25. So that's pretty good. Uh, pencil and bumper sticker, you know, buck or two, most. And the comic, uh, variant cover could be four or five dollars. Ah, recover, it says, okay. So yeah, it's a variant cover, but they recovered an original story, it looks like. It says Critical Role. Just seeing. Pretty cool. But yeah, so probably about four, maybe five dollars at the limit. It's not signed or anything, or, but it is a variant cover. So, it's pretty cool. So that is everything, correct? Yeah. I mean, if you add it up, you're probably close to 90 bucks, right around there. It depends, again, on what you value the coins for, what you value the die, um, the cards, that kind of thing. But you're pretty close, about $90 on average. Could be higher, could be lower. You never know. And I paid uh, $52, $53 for this. Of course, I up my shirt size, and I also have shipping. That's clean shipping. So you're almost getting double your value, but it's a one-shot box, and it's just kind of a cool box to see what you can get. So I like a lot of it. You know, I like this comic. I like the figure. He's cool. The coins are pretty awesome. I like those. The die is pretty cool, too. So these are all pretty cool collectible items. So I thought it was worth it. I thought it was kind of cool. I like doing these one shots. They're kind of awesome. Just to see what you can get in them. It looks like Nerd Block and Loot Crate are kind of competing to see who can throw out the one shots at each other and see who can beat the other one. So that's pretty cool though. I liked it. So leave me some comments on what you thought, what you liked and didn't like. And like and unlike, subscribe to it coming up next. I always have stuff coming up next. So until next time, thanks.